Greetings, Niao. Let's take a look at this map. This is a little bit spooky, but I guess I can deviate to the store if I'm very low health before this. Could get the super elite this act. Aiming for a floor 6 elite seems right. The safest way to do that is probably this way. The most aggressive way to do it is probably this way. Like, there's no chance of avoiding it, but... I think it almost always works. Act 1 card rewards aren't that important on Watchers, so like... Taking these campfires to upgrade a couple of sweet cards I get, it's probably more exciting than taking this path. I think I'm like more inclined toward the left side than the right side, but there's still a whale bonus to look at that might change things. Fiery Shrimp, thanks for the 28 months. We'll find out if I actually know what rare chance is today. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure it starts at minus 2% and goes up by 1% every time you see a common and elite fights have a flat plus either 8 or 10% or 12%. I don't know, some sort of flat percentage modifier to it. At some point I definitely looked it up and knew it exactly, but it just isn't that big a deal to know it exactly, so I don't currently with 100% confidence, know exactly what it is. These are pretty bad whale rewards. Taking 18 damage for a rare card is like a lot of damage for a rare card. Like a lot. <laughs> Thanks for the 28 months, Fairy Shrimp. Cornelius Vi, hello. Hey, Arrakis. Uh, because the first code was wrong, Arrakis. It's plus 7%. Hmm, is it though? Hey, Dirty Ra. Hey, Sir Lancelot. Hey, Miltnoid. Hey, Bilby. And Derjoko, hello. Hey, Adwawa. Hey, Serenity Rage. I played some Factorio, yeah. Uh, somebody was working on that for me, Fiery Shrimp, but then... Like, the holidays happen and stuff, and I need to follow up on whether it's still happening or not. I don't know. The argument, Abby. According to the wiki... Oh yeah, I mean, the wiki is never correct about anything. <laughs> hey, Seth, go, friend. So we have to look at what the colorless cards are, and then we have to look at what the rare cards are. And we have to decide whether taking 18 damage is worth getting a rare card instead of a colorless card. That is my opinion. Also, I'm pretty sure that when it says you get a colorless card, it means an uncommon. Like, you never get a rare colorless card from that whale bonus. Which is weird, because like it doesn't say that, right? The way that it says it implies you would be able to get a rare. But I guess you have minus 2% rare chance, maybe that's why. It definitely could be why. So the uncommon colorless cards are and a jump, blind, dark shackles. Thank you, Dr. Bob. Thanks for the 16 months. Deep breath. Discovery. Which is sort of hard to analyze. Tragic Beauty, Skullbot, Asm Fiend, Ipike. Dramatic Entrance. Enlightenment. Finesse. Nice. 
Flash of Steel. Forethought. Ugh. Good instincts. Master, I think it's the 17 months. Patience. Jack of all trades. Madness. Mind Blast. This is the most that I've written in handwriting since like high school. <laughs> Panacea. Panic button. Security, Swift Strike, and Trip. Okay, out of these cards, Antage Up I think is probably worse than nothing. Blind I think is probably worse than nothing. Dark Tackles I think is fine. Deep Breath I think is like just barely passable, maybe. I, it's like. I'm actually gonna give this a neutral. Discovery I think is good. Watcher has some fairly high impact cards that Discovery can find. Dramatic Entrance is a negative. Enlightenment is a negative. Finesse is good. Flash of Steel is good. Forethought is a negative. Good Instincts is... It's probably a bow break even. Impatience is... Probably negative. It's hard to like not have attacks in hand as Watcher, unfortunately. Check of all trades is very negative. Madness, I think at this point in the run is negative. Mind Blast is negative. Panacea is negative. Panic button. Panic button is a good card. That's uncommon. <laughs> I mean like I knew that, but like still. Really? Security is negative. Swift strike is fine. Not exciting, but fine. Trip is like okay. I'd rather have a crush chance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are only seven of these that I actually want at all. Out of nine, eight, twenty. And like, I don't want them much, right? Like, <laughs> Panic Button I would be pretty excited about. Flash of Steel I'd be excited about. Like, some of them are pretty okay. Discovery would sometimes be okay. Uh, so, what's my chance of hitting these at all? 13 choose 3 over 20 choose 3. That's the number of ways I can miss. So, I miss entirely about 25% of the time. <laughs> hey, why Bubsy? Hey, Osprey. You hey, demonic teddy. Once I've determined this evaluation will be consistent for all Watcher starts, well, presumably my ability to play the character changes over time. <laughs> Flight of Heart, T. Genwit, Petal Mew. Alright, let's look at our Watcher rares. I think there are 17 of those, so not quite as many. Hey, I was right. So we have to consider whether we're willing to give up 18 health for these as well. Not work. Okay. Hey, Jenke, how are you? I'm glad you liked it. Not hero, he hopeless, kick killer kill, he's ECM. He swizzle, all he dropped out. Hey, Colin. You can hear the game sound, right? So, our rares. Alpha. Absolute garbage. Blasphemy. Blasphemy's not too bad. 
Brilliance. Brilliance also not too bad. Under Blade. Terrible. Deus Ex. If I get a Deus Ex, it's like, okay. It drastically changes the sort of deck that I want to make. All of a sudden, stuff like Wheel Kick gets very exciting. Deva Form, Devotion. Establishment. Judgment. Lesson learned. Master reality. Omniscience. Ragnarok. Scrawl. Spirit Shield. Volt. And Wish. And what I'm interested in is... Are these cards better than what I feel a colorless card choice would be, given that I'm paying 18 health for them? So Alpha, absolutely not. Blasphemy, like, about the same, I think? Brilliant. Probably about the same. Hunter Blade, absolutely not. Deus Ex. Don't know. SR Dildings for the six months. Gifted sub to SR Dill? Wait, what? <laughs> Cyber thanks for the gifted sub. OMG, WDF. LOL, BB, thanks for 13 months. He does his things for 47 months. ASX is like, I don't know. I'm gonna come back to that, I think. Deva Farm, absolutely not. Devotion, absolutely not. Establishment, absolutely not. Judgment? Judgment's a yes, I think, actually. Lesson learned is a yes. Master reality, no. Omniscience, no. Ragnarok, yes. Scrawl, yes. Spirit shield, probably about the same. Vault, yes. Wish, yes. Interesting. All of my hits start with the second half of the alphabet. I don't know what we've really learned by establishing that, but... <laughs> I think I'll actually I'd be able to make use of a blasphemy, I think. I have a couple of campfires so I can upgrade it. Thanks, Hatashi. Hope you have a good day, too. Miss Ibron. Probably doesn't matter what I evaluate Deus Ex as. This is four, five, six, seven. Seven good hits out of 17 cards. I mean, we can do the math here, but also because it's out of 17 instead of 20, I have the same number of hits. So I just like know that it's better. <laughs> so I think it's marginally better, but I don't think it's much better. And I'm eyeballing a lot here, so, you know. But I get that I hit something that I'm somewhat happy with a little bit over 80% of the time, which is just going to have to be enough, I think. Hey, Hot Cross. Hey, Death Tentacle. Thirty-three minutes on the whale bonus. Surely not. It's nowhere near enough time. So I decided I was clicking this button. Let's click it. We have a choice between Volt and Ragnarok. I'm pretty sure I'm going to take Volt. It's interesting because Ragnarok, I think, is actually the better card right now, but it's like very marginally the better card, and I can do the thing that Ragnarok does with the variety of things that I'm going to be offered soon. Meanwhile, Volt becomes very, very powerful, like, as soon as Act 2, probably. Arguably, it's already very good. Core Devotion not even considered? Yeah. Yeah, we're not considering Devotion here. That is correct. 
Would have rather gotten a lesson learned. To be honest. But I'll take a vault. And now that I'm down to 43 health, I'm even more so inclined to take this path, and we're gonna end up at this question mark from where we can rest if needed. But probably we don't, and then we have this store that we can avoid this elite with if needed as well. It's a guardian act. Start uh, ascending the spire. Month the northern the 31 months. No lesson learned, extreme low roll. Hey, you're not wrong. This is a pretty easy turn. I have played one turn out of one turn absolutely perfectly. This turn's harder. I guess it's not that hard. I think the only question here is whether I'm meant to Miracle Strike. And the answer is just yes. So if I enter Wrath, my strike deals 9, right? Like, I'm not... I'm not losing my mind here. <laughs> my strike deals mine 9 because its base is 6, it doubles to 12, and then I'm weakened. So minus 25% is 9. I'm pretty sure I'm not losing my mind. <laughs> it's like... It just says 4 right now, it doesn't say 4.5, so I don't trust it, you know? <laughs> Alright. A region pot's excellent. So our potion chance is now down to 30%. And our rare chance is... what? Why did that kill that one? I guess it's this one. Our rare chance is up to minus 1%. I can take a Deceive Reality, a Swivel, or an Evaluate. Deceive Reality is a pretty sweet block guard. I can expect it to probably save me a bit of health in these initial hallway fights. And it's just a very good card later in the run, very often. The only issue with it is that it's not very good at killing Gremlin Knob. But it's okay at killing Sentries. It's not honestly that good at killing Lagavulin. I think usually you want to try to kill Lagavulin in two turns and just never get attacked. I think that I'm probably meant to skip Deceive Reality, like just barely, but it's definitely closer to being a pick than the other two cards. MJW. Need the Shyster. Invictus thinks of the 15 months. It is a guardian act, so I do need a block card. Unless I don't. I mean, it depends. <laughs> it depends. It depends how strong my deck gets. The scary thing here is, like, I need to get another attack. And I need to play Eruption in order to be Gremlin Knob as soon as this floor, which is not very far away. And if I take a Deceive Reality, all of a sudden it becomes a little bit harder to guarantee that I'm playing Eruption fast enough to get me through that Gremlin Knob fight. Especially when we consider that I don't have an attack yet. Although I can go this way if I'm not ready. So... That's nice. We need a block card unless we don't. Yeah, I mean... If my deck is mediocre, I will benefit from a Deceive Reality against the Guardian. If my deck is very good, I already won't need a Deceive Reality. 
the question is like how often is my deck going to be really good by the time I get to the Guardian fight? Definitely not all of the time. Hey, Chad Unborn. Hey, Kyrios. What do I think of Geopolitics Tardem? I think I'm playing a Slow the Spire run. Hey, Ducks. I think that you could have used the energy you spent on asking that question to make a donation to, like, an international medical charity or something. <laughs> That's my opinion. But I hope that everybody is safe and okay. Let's take it to see reality. Jow Worm. And I sing about to see reality is I'm a little bit more likely to get all the value out of regen pot now. There isn't that much that cares about my current health at the moment. So I think I might as well just drink this now. Are we four out of four perfectly played turns? I mean, maybe. Hard to say for sure, right? Got to halt a consecrate and a study. It's not exactly what I wanted. And no potion. Do you think so? Fourteen months. Consecrate is definitely not the worst card in the game, and it has some sort of synergy with Volt, but it's very hard to take it. I might just take it though. That feels very cluttered already. What I really need is like a Sands of Time, honestly. Just an attack that hits really hard. Consecrate, not exactly it. But I need more damage. I need like two or three damage cards, I think, right now. I'm gonna take a Consecrate. Beat it a little bit. Idol event is basically able to be played without thinking. Decisions about miracling a strike again. Next turn, like eruption 1931. Eruption, consecrate, strike doesn't kill next turn. Only 14. I suspect that with safety in my deck I do get to Miracle Strike, because all I have to do is kill this and then I never take damage. Your 
100% rare incoming? Maybe. Could happen. Stranger things have happened. We should have thought about whether I was meant to use that safety. Probably not. Probably I just am. Alright. So safety is doing some things. It's probably like saved me 10 health or something. These aren't attacks. Definitely not attacks, huh? Viper thinks of 22 months. Yeah, I'm not going to be taking a pressure point. So no potions. So potion chance is up to 50% and rare chance is up to 3%. I think the main question here is whether a crescendo is worth taking or not. I'm disinclined to take it because I have so few attacks. Hmm. I could try to go 17 0 using pressure points. Actually, I'm very well set up to try to make pressure points work. It's a very bad choice, but uh, if I had to like choose a run to try to make pressure points work, I think the one where I have Deceive Reality and Volt on floor 4 is like definitely up there. Hey Alex! He's Smitty! I think I'm okay with just skipping here. No potion, no damage cards. I haven't been offered a damage card, right? Like, I didn't skip something. I just haven't been offered one. Oh, Ragnarok. I was offered Ragnarok and didn't take it. Man, <laughs> that feels sort of bad. There's a pressure points right here. Fair, fair enough. Silly me. Grief. I'm probably skipping two elites here. Unless I find like a damage potion or a real damage card at this fight. I'm gonna upgrade Consecrate at this campfire. It'll be useful for the hard hallway fight. I'm not going to take a doubt. I would rather remove uh, defense. I don't remember the last time that I missed a floor 6 elite as watcher. It does not happen very often. Safety is definitely doing the thing in the fight style. <laughs> it's just uh, not a damage card. Okay, Reach Heaven or Crush Joints. Reach Heaven. Just Reach Heaven every time. It just deals more damage. Now I can fight an Elite. I could also remove a card. Fight an Elite. Sentries. I have a Consecrate plus. It's pretty neat. 
I don't think I ever Miracle defend here. It's just Vigilance Consecrate Strike every time. Are you sure? Oh, what's my rare chance? What was I just offered? Thanks a hundred bits, Bok Choy Boy. I saw Crush Joints, Three Violence, and a common, right? Hold, right? These numbers don't actually matter that much. I'm largely keeping on the screen because I think that chat will get interested in them, which I guess is working because you're all commenting when I forget to update them. So, you based it. Nine plus twenty plus six kills this. So the turn after this one's a little bit spooky. Perhaps even a large bit spooky. At worst I'm taking 20 though, which is like not the end of the world. And with a bit of luck I will take less than that. I got a bit of luck. It was a two damage sentry, so I take this. I have a golden idol and a courier. My potion chance is down to 50. Should be a decent chance of a rare in these three cards. We hit. In quotation marks. <laughs> we hit in quotation marks. Uh, cut through fate's fine. Hey, Helsinki. If I take Cut Through Fate, I can upgrade Eruption and Cut Through Fate. Which sort of seems fine. Wouldn't hate a Volt upgrade. I could upgrade Eruption and Volt, I guess. Maybe that's even better. I have this Campfire to upgrade up probably as well, unless this Elite Fight goes very badly somehow. He <laughs> the King, stay the King. Hmm. So Darkstone parry up like can give you 18 max HP some runs. I don't think I take it, but it like absolutely can. Okay, I could take two hallways, but I don't think I really need to, like, my deck is decently set up for next act right now, actually. I need some card removes. This is, I mean, one question mark is the most I can do toward getting card removes in the rest of the act, unfortunately. I guess upgrading cut through fate is like a card remove. <laughs> You have to, like, not think very hard about it, but as long as you don't think very hard about it, that's true. <laughs> I 
cool. I'm actually inclined to just remove a defend. I'm not sure that adding a random card to my deck is good right now. Let's take a look at it though. Might as well look. Took a while to get here. <laughs> My name is Brownus. I don't know what that means. I'm going to assume that you just said I was very handsome. You can't hear the music I'm listening to, huh? Sort of awkward. <laughs> Some solid jazz at the moment. So, Bowling Bash is like a minus one. We're not comparing this to defend, we're comparing it to having no card after removing a defend. Go minus one, minus one. Crusher is okay, maybe marginally positive. Crusher is okay, maybe marginally positive. Cut through fate, I think, would be good. Empty body, not really. I don't have really like payoffs for stat swapping. Empty Fist is good though. So it's a damage card. No. Flurry I'd be happy-ish with, I think. Flying sleeves, nah. Follow up, nah. Bolt, nah. Slucky, no, no. No, no, no. Third eye is like maybe marginally okay. I'll give it a zero instead of a minus one. That's all I can do. Uh, Tranquility is also maybe a zero. Maybe Crescendo should actually be a zero. Oh, it is a zero. Okay. Yeah. So not super happy with most of the commons, that's for sure. Battle Hem. You know, this is not actually a very bad Battle Hem. Battle Hem is certainly not... Watcher's most powerful card, but there are moments where it's okay, and when you have like Volt and Safety and are short on damage cards, like you're sort of in that zone. I don't know if I can give it a 1, but I'll give it a 0. Our reality is like a very good damage card. I don't know if that quite gets it to two, but I think a one. Collect with no card draw, absolutely not. Conclude, another very good damage card. Deceive reality, number two, not so much. Uh, Empty Mind's a pretty good card, probably be happy with that. Fasting, not currently doing anything good. I think I would like almost never play Fasting right now. Fear No Evil's extremely good. Barn Influence, uh, probably already past the point where Foreign Influence is doing much. I'm going to give that a minus one, because I'd have to upgrade it probably. Foresight, Foresight's like probably neutral-ish. Indignation, I don't have any payoff for stat swapping, but I certainly want to. Probably like a one, and that's probably a one. Like Water's a minus one, Meditate's a one or a two maybe. Mental Fortress, we give a 1, even though it doesn't have much payoff yet. Nirvana. Nirvana is just bad. Perseverance, bad at the moment. Prey, bad at the moment. Reach Heaven, bad at the moment. Rushdown, extremely good. Rushdown's probably a 3. Maybe Rushdown's like a 5, honestly. Sanctity, no. Sands of Time with Volt. A zero. No. 
Simmering Fury. I think I can give that a zero. I don't think I can give it a one. Steady, no. Swivel, no. Talk to the hand. It's like a one or a two. It's not actually that good at the moment. Just doesn't line up with the other cards in the deck. Tantrum's a two. Wallop. Wallop's only okay here. Wave of the hand is garbage at the moment. Weave is... All I have is the cut through, right? right? But still, it's like such a powerful card. Like a zero. Maybe it deserves a one. Milk kick might get a one. Give it a zero. Windmill strike. I'd take a wheel kick if it were offered. Windmill strike is a no. Worship's a no, Wreath is a no, Alpha's a no, Blasphemy is... It's a way to get through Act 2. It's not my preferred way to get through Act 2, but it is a way to get through Act 2. Might already be okay at Act 2. How's my Book of Stabbing? Not very good. I might actually need another card like Sands of Time or Windmill Strike or Blasphemy. I can actually do. Alright. Let's change all of those evaluations. Uh, Brilliance, no. Conjure Blade, no. Deus Ex. Zero, maybe. Deva form, no. Devotion, no. Establishment, no. Judgment, no. Lesson learned, still quite good. Master reality, no. Omniscience. Can hit Vault, can hit um, through violence. A zero. Ragnarok is probably a zero because I don't have any like retained wrath. Scrawls a one or a two. Probably a 2. Rich Shield's a no. Vault is a 2 as well, which is a... somewhere between a 0 and a 1. I get slightly negative. Not by, like, much, but slightly. It's sort of a meaningless number because, like... Minus one. There's no like granularity to the ratings I have. But it wasn't like plus point six, right? <laughs> so checking it in that way does make me feel more confident in my like initial intuition that it's somewhat bad to be adding a random card right now. Does that mean 7% of the time is bad? No. No, it doesn't mean that. It means that the thing I just did with the numbers averaged out to minus 0 0.07. It doesn't really mean much more than exactly that thing. Interpreting what that actually means is the next thing you have to do. So there are only three reasonable upgrades at all. Unless I think Vigilance or Deceive Reality are upgrades. Don't think I do. I generally think that energy upgrades are very, very strong on Watcher. Feels hard for the Volt upgrade not to be very strong. Especially since like it lets me reach Heaven and Volt in the same turn with Miracle, which is a really big deal against Gremlin Up. Yeah, there's like... That exact hand is, I think, enough of a reason to push me. Who do you think's the 23 months?
corruption is upgraded, so I could... I'm probably meant to cut first here. Ideal result. Pretty good gremlin on fight. We got a horn cleat. That's a good relic. No potion. And three commons. Is Swatcher strong? Swatcher might be okay. We just very easily skip all of these cards. Don't really have to think about that. Hornclee does something if you get attacked for 20 on turn 1 if you draw Volt in your opening hand. Also, there's the Andor. I said it was important to upgrade Volt, so that feels pretty cool. Picking an inner piece seems excellent here. There's any reason where it's crushed joints. I don't think it's ever cut through fate over inner piece. And this is always going to be cut through fate upgrade for me. I'm just gonna run and fill up my water before I play this guardian fight though. When it's colder, does the like elasticity of water change? That question makes sense. So the cats have a water fountain and I fill it up regularly because like they drink the water out of it and it evaporates, right? And I fill it up by pouring water into it using one of these glasses. And a long-term battle of mine, a struggle, has been working out how to pour out of one of these glasses without the water. You know, when you like pour out of a glass, the water will like catch on the lip and then go down the front side even though it's angled. And so I've been like slowly learning like the right strength to tip the glass with and stuff like that. Anyway, over the course of like months, I've I've been slowly been improving my skill at this. And I can't pour super, super fast because it's like a small water fountain. So if I just dump all the water into it really fast, it just like all like falls out because there's a top receptacle of the water fountain and then there's a fairly small um, channel or whatever into the body of the water fountain where most of the water is stored. But I'm pouring into the top receptacle so I have a limited speed at which I can pour without the top receptacle filling up and overflowing. And recently I've been getting it like every time and I feel really good about this. Like. I'm really excited about it, but I'm also wondering if it's because it's cold and if it's just like that the temperature of the water has made it easier, like I'm playing on Ascension Zero or whatever. Robbie Blitz, thanks for the three years. I appreciate it. Is there a greater accomplishment than my win streak? I mean, <laughs> questionable. <laughs> it's something that I care about, okay? <laughs> Thank you, Varage. I think we have good enough cards to draw to ward. In particular, drawing to what eruption seems really big. I'm proud of me. Thank you. That's uh, what I'm hoping for. Can I die next turn if I play eruption strike strike? It's probably very hard. I don't even get attacked for enough to die, so no. I get attacked for 72 and Horn Cleat blocks for 12. So actually, like, I could. If I, like, ended turn, I would die. Should I Cultist Bot? 
Potion chance is high. I didn't update it, but I think it's like 50% or something. <laughs> Those numbers aren't relevant anymore. I shouldn't need to Cultist Potion for any reason. And the Cultist Potion could be good against like Book of Stabbing or something. Volt makes Cultist Potion better. We just do this. If I draw an outstandingly poor hand next turn, I might take a lot of damage, but it would have to be really, really, really poor. I failed. I failed to draw a hand that was that bad. That's good. On to see reality or not. It's like definitely okay. Yeah, it's okay. Hard to deal with the next Guardian Hall. <laughs> the next Guardian. That's such a cryptic thing to say. <laughs> the the next time the Guardian leaves shell form, I have to be able to deal a bunch of damage to it somehow. Like maybe it's right to just play Reach Heaven here and take a bunch. Take 15. It's a lot, but maybe correct. If I'm going to do that, I could play a Eruption and take another 4 to deal an extra 19. What happens if I don't do that? I just like block with safety? Blocking with safety seems pretty good. What if I dex pot right now? Dex pot is sort of a shitty pot. It maybe saves me like two or three health going into act two, and I have a 50% chance to get a different potion anyway. And honestly, it's hard for it to save much more than two or three health anyway. It's just like not a good potion. Against Shelled Parasite, maybe. It is good with Deceive Reality, for sure. But it doesn't do anything in the Elite fights, really. I desperately want to trade it for an aggressive potion to be set up for the Elite fights, basically. And so... I need to use it at some point somewhat soon. And now is a time that I could use it. Kikopaka. So I heal 30%. What? That's such a weird number to have said. I heal 75% of my missing health. I don't know why I just said 30%. It's, it doesn't make any sense. Anyway, I heal 75% of my missing health. And that rounds up, I believe. I believe all player healing in the game rounds up. So currently I'm healing 4 
If I play this turn the way I'm looking at playing it right now, I go to missing 9 health, which means I heal for another 3, right? So I actually don't take damage. <laughs> Weirdly. Assuming that the healing does round up. I'm pretty sure that it does. I'm at 10, I heal for 8. Wait, what the fuck am I talking about? How can I just always heal for as much damage as I've taken four times in a row? Definitely doing something wrong, huh? Oh, this is 5, not 4. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah. At 8, 12, and... At 7, I'd heal for... Six. At eight, I'd heal for six. So at four, eight, twelve, sixteen, etc. That's when I take more damage, I think. Probably. <laughs> nice reset. Nice. Health rounded down on YouTube drives you watched earlier? Yeah, I might also be wrong about health rounding. It doesn't really matter that much. Like, none of this really matters that much, right? I could use safety this turn. Then I have to see reality next turn. What if I play, play this turn completely differently instead? What if I go safety, eruption? I have three energy left. Okay, that doesn't really do very much. I guess that's why not to do that. <laughs> hmm. Cool. This is so marginal. Like, it's saving one hit point. Some of the time. <laughs> Sometimes it does more. If my draw order gets really weird and bad, it can do a lot more. Okay, sure. Sure. I can eruption and block. 2042. I have exactly enough energy. I can also not if I want, but. A problem with doing that is that next turn I have to leave Wrath anyway. Go no. I have to leave Wrath anyway because I'm going to reshuffle without my calm sources in my next draw pile. Let's hit Eruption. Nice. Baudrillard was right, thanks for the 22 months. Appreciate it. And bright. I don't see much reason to play Consecrate. Is telling Jorbs what YouTube Jorbs said not considered backseating? People are just going to backseat more in these runs because I'm spending a long time talking out loud and people are going to interpret that as me wanting them to respond to what I said. So, like, whatever. I 
have 371 gold and a career. That's pretty cool. I said I might need a Blasphemy. I do have a Horn Cleat, which gets me started on blocking the damage from Blasphemy if I uh, play it on turn 1 and don't kill. Blasphemy Vault is a noted combo. Nikki, thanks for the year. I appreciate it. I think I took like approximately like negative 10 damage from fights that act. And so far as one of them dropped to me a regen pot. And then I like basically didn't get hit in any of the others. Is my safe word mahogany? I keep on forgetting what my safe word is. <laughs> Hey, Chick. Um, hey, Benda. The three options here are Blasphemy, Wish, and Skip. And I think all three are pretty good. Like, I certainly don't think that I'm uh, in a ton of trouble after taking any of those options. If I take Wish, it makes energy from the boss relic a lot better. Wish can also make pyramid work decently. Um, I mean pyramid already works, but wish will be pretty sweet with pyramid and courier. Wish this early... The biggest thing that wish this early does is it makes act 2 a little bit more difficult. But I have a deck that's like somewhat cluttered with cards that help it in Act 2 hallway fights. Like Deceive Reality. Okay, maybe just Deceive Reality. Um, I didn't get a potion, damn it. Dex Paw would be good after taking Wish. Fuck. <laughs> anyway, I have a deck that's like pretty decent at the Act 2 hallway fights right now. And it's a way to make the Act 2 hallway fights a little bit more difficult for myself. And basically guarantee that I never lose the run to not having enough scaling in the boss gauntlet. Because I have a courier, I'm always going to be able to buy a ton of like relics and powers in the Act 4 shop at latest. So it's just a slight increase to my chance to lose in Act 2, maybe. Although it's not even like super clear because like grabbing strength against Book of Stabbing is not bad and grabbing plated armor in a lot of fights is not bad either. And the trade-off is that I just always win late game basically. You can wish for things other than gold, yeah. Isn't having a large pile of gold a different form of winning? Well, yes, that's another thing, right? If I die, I can be buried with my gold. So, like, did I really die? Yes. But am I upset about it? Yes. <laughs> but do I have a lot of gold? No, because I'm dead. But do other people get the gold? Also, no. And I can take some satisfaction in that. Savonian, thanks for the year. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It's a pretty good setup for Wish, yeah? I have a horn cleat, I have a career. <laughs> like, those relics certainly make me more inclined to click on Wish. Just a little bit concerned about my Act 2 Elite fights. And I don't think that Wish really helps them. If I want help in Act 2 Elite fights, Blasphemy is definitely one way to do it. I can also probably get through them just by skipping if I like play sensibly.
And then after I'm through Act 2, I can worry about winning late game. I don't have anything that even hints at winning late game yet. I guess career is basically the only thing I have that hints at winning late game. And the fact that I'm playing Watcher, that's another thing. But I'm behind on card removes. I don't have any scaling in my deck. Robo Jumper, thanks for the 52 months. I appreciate it. I guess I do have an inner piece. I think this potion's particularly good against Book of Stabbing exactly, and because of Consecrate Plus, I feel like Book of Stabbing is probably the hardest one. I'll take the wish. Uh, Holy Water is incredibly, incredibly good. Just like generally and also here. So let's take it. You think that a normal Jorb snap picks wish here? Maybe. This act is a little bit sparse. I would like to go to this shop. I have so much gold. I'm about to go through one of the hardest parts in the run, and like not having 400 gold banked would make me feel happy. DVD. I could try to take more elites by going this way or something, but I just get so strong at the shop. There's a decent chance that this shop just wins me the entire run. And then I probably fight this elite then. I'm not going to be able to get to the super elite, right? And I have some choices after that, but probably I just go this way, I imagine. So I got one, two campfires plus the one before the boss. I get two shops with probably like 500 gold to spend at them. Maybe a bit more. With a career. And then we fight automaton. It should be okay. Hopefully. Seems good to me. Question marks or hallway fights. I do have a wish, right? I do have a wish. So it feels like the question marks coming after the store makes more sense than them coming before the store. I wonder what I'm removing exactly, like a defend and a strike probably. Probably. Jax would be pretty surreal. Like, actually remove a card over upgrade strikes all defends. <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> over upgrade all strikes and defends. <laughs> I had the right words, I just didn't get the order correct. I don't really want to hard pull hallway fight before this elite, I don't think. Even though I have wish, it's like... I don't want apparitions, I don't want bites, I don't think. Although bites work sort of nicely with wish. It's just I sort of need this max HP, and I'm currently at full health. So it's like... Library, which is pretty bad this early in the act. Ritual Dagger would actually be really good. I could get a potion from an event, but that's sort of unexciting. Transforms, upgrades, removes are all excellent. 
There's a lot of good stuff at events. Getting a fight reward just to see cards is a little bit less important because of Courier. But it isn't like completely irrelevant. Getting a potion from the fights would be nice. I do need an aggressive potion by the time I get to the elites. Let's go here. Thanks, Senju. Take one. My deck spot could have saved me one health here. Oh well. Um. I'm losing my horn cleat. <laughs> this is this is rude. There is. Eruption, strike, strike, miracle, inner peace. Kill the front one. And turn and calm. I don't use Volt. I'm not sure that that's like impressive though, to not use Volt. Next turn, my worst hand is what? Defend, defend, strike, strike, wish, I guess. If I enter Wrath right now. And that's still fine. In so far as it doesn't kill me. I mean, it's not great. <sighs> Let's do this. Quite a lot of health to pay for 25 gold. Right. Took one. Wow. It's a big wheel kick. It's a really big wheel kick, but I am presumably just taking Tantrum. I have a wish to gain strength with. I have a cultist pot as well. Yeah, it's just Tantrum. Just Tantrum. Don't have to think that hard. We did get the early library with a very low rare chance, so just gonna look at lots of commons and uncommons. Uh, I don't hate another inner piece. Inner piece seems pretty good, especially with the tantrum I just picked up. What other cards are there that are even possible considerations over inner piece? I think there are basically none. We just take inner piece. It's like, gosh, it's really hard to consider another card. Card reality is good damage. Wheel kick has some card draw on it. Basically, it. Seeing commons in the library doesn't affect the rare chance now. But the cards in it are rolled against your current rare chance. So libraries. Well, if you want to find rares, library is better to find a bit later in the act after you've made the rare chance a little bit higher. This is one reason why I like taking two fights, then a question mark might be better than taking a fight, a question mark, and a fight in act two. But not a huge deal.
One avocado. I have Horncleat next turn, which helps a bit. I guess this is just a wish for plated armor, probably. Saves me a decent amount of health. Well, brother, thanks for eight months. quite accurate right now, yeah. I mean, that's sort of how it goes, so. Strike or inner piece? I think inner piece. Being in calm is good for the suck. Zero damage shell parasites. Not too bad. The deck spots back. I've been offered a large number of commons. I am healthy. I could take the super early. Taking the super early now lets me path however I want next act. I think I'm good though. I found Rushdown. Because I am very good at this game. Uh, I'm probably going to take Rushdown here, I guess. Can remove a strike or a defend. Probably go strike first and then defend at the next drop. With the deck spot, it feels like defends are a bit better right now than they will be after I use the deck spot, which I'm going to do at the next fight, probably. Don't think I'm paying 134 gold for an Aldi Smith's down. Don't think I'm paying 138 for an abacus, although I could. Definitely could. I think with double inner piece, I'm not paying 63 for a fear no evil. Doesn't seem like there's that much reason to. It's always rush down. Okay, it's never a fast thing. I don't currently generate enough energy to really care about Ice Cream, I don't think. It's a very powerful relic, but it's also very expensive. And I'm going to another shop, probably. I think this is just card remove, and then life goes on.
how much gold would the merchant have to pay me to take pressure points right now? I'd take a pressure points for like 150 gold, probably. Let's not say that. Pressure points is better than doubt? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Hot take, I know. I'll remove it to fund, I guess. Don't block very well. Abacus isn't really helping, though. I have some dubious turn ones, I think. Thoughts? I think I might just take 50 gold. Doesn't feel necessary to face trade here. <laughs> like, just doesn't really. Doesn't feel like I need to take that risk. Turn one week is quite bad. And um, missing the next chest is also very bad. Although I already got my blue key. My general inclination here is that energy upgrades are super premium. With double inner piece and a vault and a wish. So I think I'm just going to upgrade Rushdown. Yep. Looks like another wish for plated armor. I haven't wished for gold yet. The cards like been doing okay though, like I don't really have any complaints. This is not a very good turn one. At least I don't like die next turn. Just wondering if I use cold this spot. It certainly makes the fight easier. Feels like we're running out of moments where the cultist spot matters. I'm pretty sure that applies just wish for plated armor rush down the inner piece. How often does Cultist Pot make me able to kill this next turn, I wonder? Thing is it's hard to enter Wrath next turn. I have to draw Wrath and Calm. Or I can draw inner piece into. Hmm. Maybe it's not that hard actually. Should just be a very easy fight. 
Shurgan, thanks very much for the 17 months. I appreciate it. I can't really vault here because I lose my Horn Chloe block and I'm being attacked, right? So it doesn't really work. Two miracles for seven health. I'm only taking nine. Let's cut through if I want to achieve this turn. Look for Consecrate. Up up low. Volt is also pretty good. So I saved 11 health with the wish. Kroger Blaster, thanks for the gifted sub. Appreciate it. My shirt is very thick and comfy. A regal pillow. Nice. And a fairy in a bottle. Don't think this deck's taking a weave right now. Don't think it's taking a devotion. And I don't see much reason why it needs a crescendo. So. Not the most exciting floor. That's the most damage I've taken in a fight the entire game. Oh shit, there was a rare there too. <laughs> well, it's minus 1%. Yeah, I just like didn't even realize that Devotion was a rare, right? <laughs> that's, that's pretty funny. Uh, I'm going to take Rush down. <laughs> I'm so fucking good at this game. <laughs> There are a few things I can do after I take Rush Down. I have enough money for Pocket Watch. Pocket Watch is quite strong with the Bolt. Bolt and Wish.
It's also just like ridiculously OP to remove a card from this deck though. So it might be difficult to buy Pocket Watch over removing a strike. I'm just going to have another rush down in the power pile anyway, so. <laughs> Banana Muffin makes the 31 months. Um, it's unclear that I actually want this. Like, you don't need three rushdowns, and I only have two ways into Wrath. I have to think about my turn one, which is not currently very good. It's unfortunate that Courier doesn't let you use card remove multiple times. Because, like, that's so easily the best thing I can possibly spend my gold on right now, is just removing seven cards. Well, definitely removing six cards. I don't know about the seventh. I'll have to start making decisions once we get that far. Question mark versus campfire is sort of interesting here. Have I seen a shrine? Base Trader is a shrine, right? This was an event. So my question mark is actually always a fight, right? How many floors total in around 57? Runs are not usually this long. <laughs> this is um, the longest watch around that I've played in ever. I do have a Farina bottle that would be sort of nice to use. I can hold it for the heart, honestly. It's not that good. <laughs> I could also just get a different potion that was better against the heart. Jonathan, thanks for 30 months. Appreciate it. Am I starting to feel the pressure? Um. Maybe that's the right way to say it. Our kill thinks of the prime Ed rhetoric thinks of 25 months. When I'm playing this intensely, I get into a sympathetic and nervous system state. And it takes me like a few hours to build into it. And then uh, I fairly often struggle to turn it off for like a day afterward. So sympathetic nervous state is like fight or flight. Like heightened awareness, basically. Full focus. And the issue with that is that I can't rest, <laughs> like IRL, if I'm in that nervous state. And it's pretty hard for me to come down from it when I focus this intently. So, like lots of breathing exercises and vibing and trying to relax after the run. But that's more where I feel the pressure. Like, I don't feel nervous as I play the run. It's just that I'm, like, very intentionally and fully heightened and focused as I play the run. And then the challenge is getting out of that afterwards so I can actually, like, sleep at night. I sort of wondered whether, um, let's take Bag of Marbles. I sort of wondered whether maybe it was right to Ceramic Fish remove a Defend there since I have a Fairy in a bottle, but like that's sort of weird, I don't know, it doesn't quite make that much sense to me. I don't need a third rush down, I don't think. Not for 63 gold, it's just like actually too expensive. Maybe I'd take one if it were offered to me, but... 
I want to spend the money on card removes. And get exactly the same sort of state deep into poker tournaments. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Like, you want to get your body as focused and heightened as possible. And then afterward, like, you know, <laughs> can be hard to unwind. Why isn't Pocket Watch the turn here? Why isn't Pocket Watch the pick here? Because card remove is actually better. Because of what happens if I successfully... Like, Pocket Watch costs 274, right? That's like how much three card removes cost. If I just stop drawing basic cards, the stack just kills everything. Like... Whereas if I have my hand clogged with three basic cards because Pocket Watch drew them, all of a sudden my rushdowns overdraw and I like can't get to my good cards and stuff like that. That's the issue. <laughs> okay, sure. Great chest. I use forks for soup things for the seven months. Starting this with Rushdown Inner Peace Eruption seems correct. I probably kill shit turn one. Because of Bag of Marbles. And Volt. Like, Volt is also a reason. I could cut through fate. Um. Before. I play inner peace. Just in case. But I'm drawing like six cards. And Volt is a hit. Inner peace vigilance. Reach Heaven deals 30. So 13 plus 27 plus 24. 51. 64. I already have 64 damage on it. I only need 24 more damage, which is like two strikes. Which is not very much. This is really hard for me to miss here. I got one strike. <laughs> I missed. That's okay. We look at one more card, I think. Pretty unlucky, though. Maybe I rust. Maybe I use the fairy in a bottle. It seems probably better. I don't want to kill the rat. Because it makes me take more damage. Have I been attacked for more than 20 on every turn one of a hallway fight in this act? I think I have. plus. It's an energy generation card, basically. It also draws a bunch of cards with Tantrum Rushdown. It's pretty good. I think I'm going to rust. I think I'm a coward. No backup prop yet.
These are two fights as well. I know that this is a fight because of the shrine event messing with correlated variants. So I think resting is okay. I think the main reason not to take Tranquility is turn one. But I have some health and I have a Regal Pillow. So it's like okay. It combos with Inner Peace, it combos with Rush Down, Wrath Source. It's probably enough. Ignore things to 21 months. Appreciate it. Starting with Cut Through Fate on Backslaver seems... must be correct. Um... Tranquility, so I can draw with Inner Peace is sort of interesting. Discarding Reach Heaven and Tranquility and only having Rushdown is interesting. Discarding, like, I don't know. To do literally any of these things. I think I want to keep Reach Heaven and get rid of the other two. Wait, but I don't get to play Reach Heaven this turn. I don't have enough energy. Well, I sort of do. Alright, let's do this. This is 24. Sweet. Oh, yeah. just one turn one. What's the plan? Yep. A pendib. Powerful relic. Floria Blues. Sort of makes pendib better, doesn't it? I don't need a Floria Blues. In particular. It makes like kunai a lot better. I still block very poorly. And kunai is an uncommon relic, so you see it somewhat frequently. And it does make pendant much better as well. Sometimes it has trouble getting into my hand with double rushdown. Eagle links to the prime. Is Serena Bottle the worst potion? No, it's like fine. Hey, extension. Just flurry or not. Talk to the hands, an incredible card here. One of the reasons that I took Bag of Marbles was to clear artifact charges for Talk to the Hand to be better. Like, 
It's also just bag of marbles. I think it's been pretty obvious why it's good. Um, yeah, top of the hand definitely gets better with Floria Blows. Does it? It might not actually get better with Floria Blows. I don't think I'm ever going true infinite here. Like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I probably just have too many cards left in my deck. I haven't gotten many removes from events. But with double rushdown, double inner piece, you can actually go like pretty pseudo infinite. Anyway. And Flurry of Blows makes that a little bit more exciting, doesn't it? Hmm. Okay. This doesn't really matter. Even this fight's attacking me for 14. It's messed up. Drew thinks 18 months. I appreciate it. I want Panda Bomb. Do I really have a choice? I don't have a choice, huh? It's gonna be on nine. The crescendo is not upgraded. It is a crescendo, though. I think I'm okay with skipping it. What do you need for a legit infinite? Seven card removes or something? Crescendo's pretty good if I have double rush down on play, like, no doubt, but I don't. <laughs> I don't have double rush down on play. Rare chance doesn't affect my decision making anymore. Potion chance is 60%. Ninja Weasel. Ooh! I'm not being attacked for uh, 24. Look at that. Idol is lying. Yeah. Feels awkward. You can just play Eruption Flurry, yeah? Don't need to mess with inner peace and stuff. I don't know why I haven't done it yet. I'm just like making sure. But it's at one and then this kills it. Okay, Crusher. Hope you're doing okay. Well, there's the rushdown that I don't have to pay any gold for. There's also an empty mind. Empty mind is my first empty card, and it's a good one. It has card draw on it.
And having the third stance in terms of being able to go into empty is somewhat good. Although I think that... So with Tantrum, I artificially have more Wrath in my deck, but I can't draw it all at the same time. And with Inner Peace, I have more Calm in my deck, but if I draw it at the same time, it does something, because it draws cards. So I think Empty is a lot less important here than it is in some other times. So I'm not sure that I'm actually going to take it. It's a good card turn one. That might be enough of an argument for it. Another rare card offered. Yeah, we like had a four or five percent chance of that or whatever. Rushdown has higher meme potential. The main meme that I'm doing with Rushdown right now is overdrawing and not having any hand space. Like, it's not that exciting. <laughs> it's yeah, largely not exciting. It's a little bit exciting. I don't know. I could take another rush down, actually. How do I block damage? I have a horn cleat. And a deceive reality. And I have a career and a bunch of gold to buy defensive stuff soon. I don't think, like, Spirit Shield is a thing that I want, if that's what you're asking. There are just very, very, very many much better ways to block as Watcher, and I have plenty of time to find them. And honestly, my deck is so strong that I might not even need to find them. Like, Fairy in a Bottle might just be enough to kill Stuart without blocking, really. <laughs> like, it's pretty close. It's pretty close is all I'm saying. Definitely in the, like, this run is extremely likely to win, how do you distinguish between three different paths which are all extremely likely to win sort of mindset right now? The answer is, like, it's pretty difficult. I don't 100% know. What is the easiest way to screw this run up? Not find a way to block and not have enough damage to kill the heart? It's the main way that I lose the run from here, I think. Or like a really bad turn one multiple times in Act 3. Like get attacked for 30 by Darklings and just draw nothing but attacks. But they'd have to be attacks that couldn't kill them, so like... <laughs> I mean, that's like almost impossible, right? So. Maybe it's just not happening. I'm gonna take an empty mind, I think. I find it hard to believe that one empty mind could be all that bad. I think skill potion is good enough to take over fairy. I'm not certain. Fairy in a bottle is legitimately like I hold this for the heart fight and then I hope I use it well to block an attack for 40. That's legitimately what it's for. It doesn't really do anything else. But that is like sort of a thing it can do, I don't know. It's like not nothing. Nice Speepo. Hmm. 
So the wish upgrade is actually sort of okay. Definitely starting to get into you. Be part of the run where I'm wishing for gold pretty successfully. If I don't take that, I like the rushdown upgrade or probably an empty mind upgrade. I just take wish. And potion chance decreased to zero. Oh uh, yeah. If you rolled a potion when you were at ten percent. Good. I'm pretty sure I'm wishing for gold. Maybe not yet, though. Something is stealing my vault, something is stealing a reach heaven or an inner piece. Unless I draw the cards right now, I might just draw them, yeah. Horn cube block. Whoops. It's okay. Things are certainly happening, aren't they? Like I've played quite a lot of cards this turn. I just still, um, <laughs> like 120 damage with Consecrate Plus in one turn. Watch to count the cards played. Indeed, it would be nice. It's not even Hyper Beam turn next. Like, we're not even that far into the fight yet. Fortress is a pretty good card. I would accept a Mental Fortress right now. Second Wish. That's uh, hmm. <laughs> certainly a thing. You know, Deva form isn't that bad right now. It's 
It's not that bad at all. While I am thinking about this, it is an opportune time to remind you that today's stream is sponsored by HelloFresh. You can use my link or go to HelloFresh.com and use code POGSE372 for up to 16 free meals plus three surprise gifts across six HelloFresh boxes plus free shipping. It's a good deal. Legitimately, it saves like 120 bucks or something. I think it's only US though. Um, at the end of the run, I have a box of food from HelloFresh that I am going to open, and we are going to see what's inside it, which is very exciting. But, right now I have to work out if I'm taking Deva form. It's, like, so strong, <laughs> this Deva form, because I have so much card draw, and I'm not properly infinite, so it's really strong. It's just like a little bit hard to deploy. Anyway, I'm gonna run to the bathroom and think about that. So, the issue with Deva Forum is it's literally only good against the heart, I think. And it's questionable whether it's good against the heart. <laughs> so, that's not. That's certainly not like a huge recommendation so far. It can be sort of difficult for a deck like this to beat the heart, though, unless it has some sort of recurring block, like Mental Fortress or Talk to the Hand. And probably I need multiples of those right now. Or it has good value block cards. So like Holt would do that. One or two Holts or deceive realities and attempt at it, it just costs too much energy. And that's largely why I'm drawn to Deva Farm, because currently the closest I have to that is deceive reality and it costs a bunch of energy. And so Deva Farm could let me play it a ton of times. I can also try to beat the heart by spending a thousand gold on the power pile in Act 4. Like, that probably beats the heart. Probably gives me a Deva Farm too. <laughs> If I'm not going to take Deva Form, I'm allowed to take a second wish. It is allowed. And then I can start making 55 gold per hallway fight. And the deck is strong enough to make 55 gold per hallway fight, probably. And I have a career. So, like, good number of reasons to go for that, for sure. I don't have control over my Act 3 path because I don't have the Super Elite dead yet. I don't have, like, a Wing Boots. So I could be going through a four elite act with no campfire, like, it's possible. And probably my card selection here should reflect that. I don't even think that wish is like a bad thing to have in that act though. Like the deck's generally going to be strong enough and wishing for strength is going to be pretty good sometimes and wishing for plated armor is going to be pretty good sometimes. And I do have a bunch of energy on turn one, so it's easier to play Wish. I just take another Wish. All right. Pandas. Every time. If it's not Pandora's box, it's Sozio, I think. And I have decent potions for the boss gauntlet and the act threes where I have a very difficult path yet a lot more manageable than with coffee dripper as long as there's just one campfire there to rest. 
Because I don't have any sustain other than resting, so... My turn one being bad can require a rest sometimes. It's very hard for Pandora's box not to be incredibly good here, though. Like, it's just really, really hard. I'm just going to take Pandora's. Like, this isn't a super good outcome, but it's still very good. <laughs> um, from here, I can card remove Brilliance and Devotion, probably, and then that's, like, my deck. Could also keep Devotion. Probably not going to, though. I needed a way for Mantra to make me block for it to be sensible to keep Devotion. They don't have it. Okay, this path looks awesome. I get double store for card removes. So I get the jank out straight away. And I get a ton of elites to get stronger. And I think I'm strong enough to beat them. I can also spend my 500 gold in these two stores. I'm not just card removing. I'm also like getting a good defensive relic, probably. Seems good to me. I could go this way, but I lose two shops, so that's like never right. Yeah, it's just always this. Stop every time. You're very good at Act 4 pathing. Hey, I'm proud of you. Not an awesome turn one, huh? I think we do this first to look for flurries. So the only problem with this is if Tantrum is the bottom card, but even then, like, it's not bad. Yeah, I don't really want to play Vault, do I? Tantrum was the bottom card. But it's not that big a deal. We just kill this turn and it's fine. The form takes three total turns before it even breaks even. Well, you don't have ice cream all the time, so... It's like, true, but also not always indicative of whether it's good or not. Needed to draw the flurry. Oh, inner piece empty. Mind those. There you go. Okay, a block potion. Perhaps better than the skill potion. I don't think I want a cut through fate plus. Don't think it does anything. Worship. Hmm. <laughs> Hold up. Pretty sure it said no. Uh, 
Flying Sleeves Worship cut there if I may. I can keep this for like Time Eater or whatever, or the Heart. I suspect the Block Potion actually is better than the Skill Potion at this point. Just more reliable on turn one, which is the main place that I am going to be wanting to use a potion. Right here, for example. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Not a good turn. That'll happen. I wish for a plated armor here? I think so. I have so much gold. Let's see what 25 more gold is going to do when I could just take four or potentially even more later health. The deck needs a gambling chip. That would be a very good relic. Or a bag of prep would be another very good relic. It's getting its vibe on at the bottom of the deck. Oh, yeah. Can gambling chip away the miracles? Yep. One of the interactions that makes holy water so strong. Well, I didn't die to Darklings. <laughs> it wasn't the best fight. I don't think I need a foresight, do I? It's like close. It's got on turn one against the Act 4 elites. There aren't many places where it's like super bad. I get three more removes though. So Brilliance, Devotion. Honestly, currently, I wouldn't mind removing one of the flurries, but probably like Reach Heaven's a better remove, actually. There's still a good amount of jank in the deck. It's not a bad foresight, is what I'm saying. I just need one good shop out of these two, and I'm very, very, very sad. Yeah, I'm not gonna have, like panic and take a foresight right now. Feels panicky to do that. Uh, slightly closer to panicking now. <laughs> Goodbye, war paint. I think I would rather not, but I could. Could buy Blood Vial. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, it's 18 health. And it shows me another relic, which is sort of important. I 
I think given that there's another shop, I try to get better. I could also buy good instincts and fasting. <laughs> That's like... It's like actually sort of a thing because I have two rushdowns and I already have a prostrate. It's just a very bad version of halt though, I think. Should probably just look for a halt. Certainly some options this turn. I have one Flurry. I'm pretty sure that a Wish for Strength ends up being a guaranteed kill somehow. So it's 8 plus 13 plus 16, 29, 37 plus 28. Which is 65. So I can wish for strength for a guaranteed kill. What are my worst two draws? It's so hard to draw poorly. It'd have to be like a rush down wish or something. And if I rush down Wish exactly, all of a sudden I take some damage, and I take I mean, it's a lot of damage, like 26 damage. It's one of the only ways to lose the run right now. It's two exact cards, though. It's not that hard to draw two exact cards out of a deck of 11. I think I will just wish for strength. The nice thing about wish for strength, I guess, is that depending on what eruption draws, I might still be able to wish for gold with the other wish. I can play this. There isn't that much it can draw. Uh, I can still get gold from Wish, maybe. Good monkey thinks the 19 months. Guess not. He stance potion. That's a very good potion. These cards are not it, I don't think. Honorable mention to Sashwip. Sashwip does two things. It weakens enemies, which is nice because I can't block. And it removes artifact charges, which is nice because a main way that I might be able to block is finding a talk to the hand. <laughs> Joseph, how are you? I could take another prostrate. <laughs> I don't think I'm doing that. Stance spot's very good, because I have double rushdown. So it's like, yeah. Yeah, it's good. Ah. 
I found a mental fortress. That seems like a good choice. I don't know. So I want to buy the regen potion. Because I'm going to want to upgrade this mental fortress, and I'm only at 41 and have no sustain. But I think that fossilized helix might be a bit too much. Because if I buy fossilized helix, I don't get regen pot anymore. Fossilized helix is awkward against the heart, though, as watcher. It's not that good. It's just hard not to take damage from the beat of death on turn one. You know Damar is in this shelf. This is another observation. We're always clicking this one. Oh my god, Rushdown. Rushdown, you gotta relax. You gotta relax, Rushdown. <laughs> hey Lux, how are you? So do I want this fossilized DLX or not? It helps me wish for gold. It saves me two health against the heart. <laughs> it's, it's not the most impressive thing I've ever said. Dragon, thanks for the 54 months. Thanks for the tier 3 sub. I appreciate it. It's a pretty good relic, right? Let's take it. I don't think I actually would have bought that over card remove, but I should not have card removed before seeing what was behind Fossilized Helix. But I'm pretty sure I still would have card removed anyway. Like, card remove's really good right now. I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't know. Get started on wishing for gold, I guess? Like... <laughs> the site shouldn't be too hard. I could vault as well. Let's do that too. Saves the horn cleat. I don't even know that I want a 3 violence in my deck. Get the bag of prep on the next store. I don't think that's happening. Sources aren't in my duck though. It's fine. Let's 
seems to be lethal. Somehow we have defeated the giant hub. A meat on the bow. Okay. I'm a lot less worried about this path through the sack now. It's useful. That satrap is unupgraded. Not interested. Didn't even use Helix. Eh, it made me feel better about myself. I don't know about that turn, I just sort of played cards. I think we're at the just sort of play cards stage of the run. Did I wish for gold already? No? Okay. It's gonna be hard to get all th two wishes. <laughs> for some reason I was about to say three wishes. I don't have that many wishes. I don't know. We're in a... vibe mode with Watcher now. Could use some more energy. But, um, doing pretty well. Simply wish for more wishes. Oh, well, that's how you do it. Always check with the genie to see if it's against the rules or not. Don't just like assume it is. right now would be bad, I think. I think bolt. You twerk on me, Elmo. How are you? This is 26, 30... So I want to be able to play Tantrum and then play Wish next turn. Okay. He's Eddie to Yeti. How are you? I should have taken 10 damage. It's hard to take 10 damage. I got a Cloak Clasp. That's like really good. I'm also being offered a Holt. I'm being offered a Holt, a Wallop, and an Inner Piece. All three of those cards are like arguably pretty good. I think I'm taking the Holt. Seems good, yeah. Inner piece. Inner piece is certainly okay. I don't know that I need a third. Actually, my an inner piece blocks for six and costs negative one, basically. It's just better. I think it's just better. Okay. I would like a duplication pot for my mental fortress. Or another mental fortress. That would also work for me. We had two treasures from a small chest. 
Meal ticket, gremlin horn. Okay, whatever. Bunch more gold. Thanks for that three. Did I already say that? Did I literally just say thanks for the three months? I swear I said that like two seconds ago. I'm sorry. My brain. Oh my gosh, my brain. You may notice at this point that my uh, turns are not being played perfectly. I don't think it's possible for me to take damage in this fight, so... I'm not too worried about it. Paper since the 19 months. It isn't even attacking me yet, and I have a buffer charge. Like, this is not very close. Should have taken ton. <laughs> I have an unceasing top. Will I remember if I have an unceasing top? Will it ever be relevant? It can be relevant. Hey, the Mario. The other cards are just attacks, don't do anything anymore. I don't have to go to this elite, I could go this way. I don't know. Question marks can be um card removes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen cards. Of which three are one cost calms, two are one cost wraths, two are one cost empties. I have a tantrum. It does feel a little bit like I might still need a Deva form. Okay, this is perfect because it puts me at 31 for meat on the bone. Panache? Nash deals a lot of damage here. Blind blocks for a lot. I might take both. I'm starting to feel a little bit like I want a third rush down. <laughs> Enlightenment, sort of cute. I just want blind for what it does against the heart, which is like real. The thing it does against the heart is pretty real. 
If I get one more Mental Fortress plus, I don't think I need it anymore. Maybe I already don't need it. One Holt is probably pretty close to being enough to you. I also have double wish for strength in the heart fight, which means the heart fight doesn't go very long. I just need to survive a little bit. I don't need to take panache. There's no way, not with double wish for strength. Secret weapon? Secret weapon can grab a wrath source, a cut through fate, a flurry. I think the fact that it can grab Cut Through Fate probably makes it a pick. It is bad on turn 1 against the Heart, though, where I sort of only have Vigilance and Deceive Reality that let me play cards without using my buffer stack. Prostrate a little bit. Maybe I need a Block Potion. Hmm. Mayhem is not working here, I don't think. It's actually not that bad. I don't have any meditates. It's a pretty good mayhem. So I'm down to like blind or madness. Madness is actually pretty good. Maybe just take madness. Madness sort of does what Devaform does, except um it only costs one. Doesn't really, though. But the general idea of Madness is that we make an inner piece or a Tantrum or Eruption cost zero. Ideally, Tantrum costs zero. And then all of a sudden, I'm actually energy positive a lot of the time. I'm okay with that. I have an issue where it's hard for me to play it early and not hit a Wish or a Volt instead, but... That's like sort of okay. You can just play it later. <sighs> Space boundings for the fourteen months. for my first non-alcoholic beverage. Not in particular, no. Sorry. Yeah, I got that round the wrong way. <laughs> My bad. I'm basically blocking already. I think just not doing anything is pretty strong here.
fast. I'm good to just get out of the fight, I think. It's a little bit sketchy if I try to wish for gold with the other wish there as well. Tranquility plus is more energy. It also works with inner peace still. I think I'm okay with it. Use your bracelet equals run secured. Eh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, was the event good? <laughs> I guess it was okay. By which I mean terrible. Be that 16. I still don't block 16. But at least it's not as bad. I almost blocked 16 actually. Flurries in our discard pile. Ah, fascinating turn. I would prefer that didn't happen. Don't really want to get debuff. That's allowed. Calipers would be good here. Calipers would be good here. Man, watch your decks are so like boring to pilot like like wow <laughs> this is not used to me but like good grief it's been a little while since the last time i really actually tried to pilot a watcher deck not sure that i would recommend it
gonna still be tuning this character for full release. Yeah, maybe. Entering Divinity. Soon TM. I mean, I'm actually almost there, right? This implies some poor things about the Time Eater fight, but, I mean, I can wish for strength, right? So, not actually. are sort of Garbo. I don't know, like the Crescendo is not that bad. It just sort of is very problematic that it isn't upgraded when I'm using Madness to make something discounted. This is it, huh? Boss fight time. I could take a third eye. I'm a little bit concerned about my block against the hard still. I'm gonna run to the bathroom, I'll be right back. Okay. We should talk to the handles here. Talk to the hand would be nice. We have a bunch of gold in a shop coming up. Thanks, Wonder Tonge. This is the best block card. I'm gonna recall. I'm gonna fight Donor Deco. Wish isn't quite enough here, huh? If I play Wish into one other card, it works, but I can't play Wish Rushdown. Doesn't quite get me the block. Taking 12 is actually fine. It's like the perfect amount to take. video not too long ago. I did. This is presumably just a vault right now. I don't think I play the madness at the moment. Look at all that stuff. Uh, I could go Tranquility Empty. It's not like it's terrible to do that. Maybe I don't vault this turn. I have a problem where everything is calm in the rest of my deck. That's fine. I don't know if it's strength or not. Mm, 
I don't know if this is strength. It might be strength. It certainly is a lot easier to win the fight if I take strength. But the gold does seem relevant. I think it's gold. Just vaulting despite having full blocked, just like how you do it, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm fucking doing. <laughs> Did you come because I tweeted? Should I do going live tweets? How many people would like appreciate that? You would like going live tweets? You would not like going live tweets? This is the struggle, right? Some people want it, some people don't. Sometimes I check out people's channels because of their going live tweet, and I feel like it improves my life a little bit, like I wouldn't have realized if I hadn't seen it. separate Twitter for it. It's definitely a way I could do it. This is the way that some people do it. I like that we're just like vibing and having this conversation right now because <laughs> who's a watcher? <laughs> Like, what else is there to say? I don't know. My name is London. Thanks for the 35 months. I hope you're doing well. Seems like an easy thing to automate. Yeah, but you have to, like, write really funny memes and shit. You can't automate that. The writing of the funny memes is quite important, I think. Zero plus. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Oh. Possible I just messed up. It's hard to meaningfully mess up right now, isn't it? I seem to be in Divinity. <laughs> When I was considering strength, that is so embarrassing. It is so embarrassing that I considered that. Let's not talk about it. And back to 43 we go. That fight encouraged me. The way that that looked made it look like I was doing pretty well against the heart, actually. Time Eater is here to ruin my day. I wonder if Cultist Pot... Like, largely just have a potion slot open for their store. Makes sense. 
and also it lets me kill time eater more easily, which I appreciate because I don't like time eater. <laughs> and my deck's genuinely sort of bad in the fight, so you know there's that too. Play an inner piece right now. Can I block this turn? I have Oak Clasp. It feels okay to play an inner piece. Does Time Eater see something different to the Watcher because they ate time and she is the Watcher? Actually banned. <laughs> Actually banned from the channel. Congratulations. Meters must up. Come on for me again. Holy shit. Tantrum right now. Need to play four more cards. Fuck. But I can't play Tranquility. Guess I'm playing Tranquility. Find out, I guess. I have to like play nine stance swaps, which is not actually that hard. What a gross character. I don't even 
gonna have to apply that money because I have plated armor too. Gonna be sixty, blocking for sixty. Oh. This is going to be sixty-three. I'm blocking for sixty-seven. So I got both of those numbers wrong, which is fine. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> Nick thinks of the year. Appreciate it. Math is for winners. Sorry, nerds. Yeah, yeah, nerds. That's right. Math is for nerds. We're out of here. Thump to thump to thump. We do get to play Act 4. I think I start with the other rushdown upgrade. Have to play Act 4 first, public menace. This is losable, like I don't have that much health. My buffer charge probably doesn't work against the heart, and I don't have weak. Like, I have one horn cleave, and I have one mental fortress. I think I could use some help from the store. That is why I took two wishes, though, so that I would have enough money to get help from the store here. the game's got for me is another rushdown. <laughs> okay, Gambler's Brew helps. Gambler's Brew is a very good potion. Pantograph is good. Definitely. <laughs> Bronze Scales is sort of interesting. I don't think it's better than card remove Gambler's Brew, and it stops me from buying Gambler's Brew. <laughs> card remove is on Reach Heaven, I believe. And we're just gonna wish for strength. If I bought bronze scales, I could see another relic. And it could be kunai and I could afford it. Hmm, I don't actually think that's true. I think kunai would be too much. With how long I'm expecting the fight to go, Bronze Scales doesn't actually deal that much damage. There are no strikes in the funds. I took a Pandora's box trade. Wow. 
Spoon for the HelloFresh sponsorship. A spoon could let me play Wish multiple times. It could also let me play my Miracles multiple times. I have a Tranquility and a Madness. I don't think I want Spoon. What if I bought Empty Body? What if that's just the right play right now? Rush down into Empty Body. I could buy an attack to look for a talk to the hand. That's pretty, like, I mean, that is slightly insane to attempt that. Don't think that's what I want to do. I might take a third rush down. It speeds me up early. And it shows me a mental fortress is the other reason. And maybe the second one's a bigger deal. <laughs> oh my This is just Gambler's Spur now. Gambler's Brew and I can't afford anything else. Oh, do I end up getting Bronze Scales? No, I still don't. I wonder a little bit about the upgrade potion. The big thing that the upgrade potion does that I like is it upgrades Mental Fortress. I don't really care about other things. I just like that it upgrades Mental Fortress. I think Stance Spot is maybe too good though. Maybe a bit too good. I think it's fairly hard for Empty Mind to be bad. Like an Empty Mind. Okay. Done. I can take some damage here with Pentagraph. That's fine. I take six. I have an unceasing top. Probably doesn't matter, but I do. Actually, turn here if I want. Just kill this first.
Okay. Full health for the heart, right? And a strawberry potion it means the full health is slightly more. I don't want a protect plus. I'm good. One fight left. This is under four hours. Hard to imagine spending more time on this run. Here I can go prostrate rush down, which seems fine. And then I have a horn cleat and a buffer for next turn. Seems pretty ideal. It's like one of my best turn ones, I think. Keeping the buffer stack. This turn I can play some cards because I have horn cleat, right? Well, that's irritating. We wanted the big attack right now. Um, I like discarding six, I think. Sheep over fence thinks about two months. Or maybe I like discarding eight, actually. I think I like discarding eight. I would really like to not take damage right now. In theory, I just barely gain a block by doing something like Inner Peace Empty Mind. It's very low, the amount of block I gain, but I do gain it. I really need that other um, Mental Fortress. I don't really have empties, so I can't really get out of Calm anyway. I play Vigilance right now. I go to 22 block. I don't know. If I play Tranquility, Empty Mind, Vigilance, I go to 26 block, I think. This time, it's not enough. I don't think it's ever not inner peace, empty mind, vigilance here. So let's do that. And then if I draw stuff off empty mind, maybe things change. So the void apparently doesn't lose me an energy, which is fortunate. Woo! <laughs> There is Deceive Reality. Does that block for more than Vigilance? That blocks for 8 over 4, and then I Tranquility afterward. But I sort of want to use the Tranquility with Mental Fortress on board. This is so bad, by the way. Take a moment to appreciate how bad this is. I can madness and try to hit wish for plated armor. 
If I mana and hit Deceive Reality, it's like okay. And if I mana and hit Reach Heaven, it's pretty bad. So 26 from this, and then 9 cards is 35. So we take 9, go to 60. Maybe I want to hold on to this Tranquility, actually. What if I played Madness and Deceive Reality, even if I missed? And then if I hit Wish, it's really good. And if I hit Vigilance, it's really good. That seems okay. And also, the Madness itself doesn't cost me any health because I'm taking one on my buffer hit right now. Yeah, Deceive Reality is fine. So the safety blocks for more if I play it next turn. Because it will be in my hand of this turn, so it will block for one. It's just like, I'm blocking for nine more to 26 right now. Awkward. So Tranquility blocks 3 right now. Safety blocks for 7, which effectively blocks 9. Because I go to 25, 32. Wait, I did the math wrong. Oh, there's 8. 25, 32. No, I'm right. 32. So it doesn't. I still take. I got a 57. I don't have safety on my hand anymore. Right now I go to 27 is divisible by 3. <laughs> as far as I know. Um, Right now I go to take 18, I go to 51. I think I should play the safety. I didn't die. Yep. Is of horn clay. But I got pretty close. Is there a burn? Does the burn kill me? So I play Mental Fortress, I got a 55. I have a thing here for this. Play Inner Peace. I have... I'm at 55 with 10 block. 8 block. Which would be dead. But I also have four cards in hand. I play Inner Peace. Draw th three, but it costs me a card. I go to 55 with six. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six cards in hand, which means 67 block. 
which is actually dead. <laughs> and there's a burn as well. I don't even know if there's a line right now. The line is Tranquility, Inner Peace, Inner Peace, and try to hit, like, Tantrum, I guess. Fuck. There's also a Deceive Reality, but I don't think it's enough. Mental Fortress Tranquility isn't enough, is it? Fifty-five... Sixty-three... Sixty-seven... It's exact lethal? <laughs> Everything's fucking exact lethal! <laughs> So I guess it has to be Tranquility, Inner Peace, Inner Peace. I don't think there's another option. And if I hit Empty Mind, I can do things. And if I hit a Wrath Source, I can do things. And if I hit... I get two cards, so I can hit Miracle into something else, and I can do things. I think I have like, like uh, I'm like fairly live. Definitely not uh definitely not in great shape. <laughs> I didn't realize Floria Blows was coming back. Oh my god, I'm tired, chat. Has to be inner peace into miracle plus something else now. I must cut through fate into thing works, but it doesn't. <laughs> nope. Dad. Fuck. Oh, that feels like such a bad way to die. <laughs> such a bad way to die. All right, GG. If I realize that Flurry is coming back there and survive on 1 HP, it's not like I'm in very good shape, right? I think I should have just taken a blind. What did I take over blind? Madness? I should have just taken a blind.
end up wanting the 17 months. Taken blind or played better, or possibly drawn better. If Mental Fortress is an end, like the bottom, however many cards it was. Slotty 0 to 1. So if I'd played Mental Fortress Tranquility there and survived on 1 HP because of Flory, next turn I'm on 1 HP, and I have a burn in my hand, and I have no cards that block. I think it's like pretty winnable, but it's <laughs> certainly not a very good spot. I think it's the five months Polaris. I mean, this run should have been a win, one million percent. I think not taking blind is wrong. That might honestly be the entire thing. There's actually a run where um taking extra cards early. It's a weird thing with going infinite on Watcher that it's basically impossible to make a mistake trying to go infinite. So you get buffed by, like, having a perfect play. Which makes it very hard to evaluate whether it was the right choice or whether you just fucked up doing what you were doing. But this is a run where if I... Like, didn't take Deceive Reality, which did a ton of stuff for me. Deceive Reality got me through the first two acts without resting, basically. But if I don't take to see reality early, I mean, I still need damage somehow. I was wondering if this seed actually gets to infinite or not. I bet there was room to play turn two differently as well. Hmm. Considered empty body and last shot, but passed over it. I mean, it doesn't do anything unless I have Mental Fortress in play, right? And Mental Fortress was at the bottom of the deck, so. For me, it's more like maybe buying Empty Mind was wrong in that store. One of the issues with having a good amount of stat swapping cards in your deck is... Maybe the stance pot was wrong? It's hard for the stance pot to have been wrong. Oh, it probably was. Man. I think if I just use the stance pot better, I won too. <laughs> oh well. I think I sort of reached my mental limit after, like, toward the end of the 17th run of this streak. It's just like, I didn't play that fight right. Even the stance plot didn't work out there. I don't know, I just used it at the wrong time, I think. Because what ended up happening was that the bottom of my deck was all comm sources. And I couldn't make the mental fortresses do anything. And the stance plot didn't do much other than draw me four on the turn that I used it. It could have just drawn me four and blocked for way more if I used it the next turn, I think.
I think I generally don't mind any of the decisions I made in the run, though. There's just execution at the end that I failed at. And with the execution, it wins. Feels bad, but execution's really hard. <laughs> 